it's great to see so many faces here, not least because I need your help. So my primary focus for the next two days is to take us, all of us, from a blank screen, we used to say a blank page, but it's now it's a blank screen, to a manifesto in the making. So not a fully conformed manifesto, of course, we only have two days, but something that we can work on and build on and make, uh, take into the future. Let me just move this on a little bit. So the first question is, what is a manifesto? And I have some, a definition for you. Here we go. Okay, so this is a pretty decent definition of a manifesto. A written statement declaring publicly the intentions, motives, and views, or views of its issuer. So I guess the first question for us is, who is the issuer? Okay, this is the first part of participatory conference making. Please stand up. Everybody stand up. Please, please stand up. It's a participating conference. Please stand up. Thank you. If you were born before, let's say, 1995, 96, then please sit down. I mean, your legs are probably a bit tired, aren't they, already? <laughs> Take the weight off your feet, Herman. That's good. Sit down. <laughs> okay. Everyone's still standing up. Good, yes, yes, good. Count yourself as what's considered to be Generation Z or Gen Z, okay? You are primarily the issuer of this manifesto, okay? However, those of you still sitting down, you still have some responsibility here. We want to tap into your knowledge, your expertise, your experience, but also I want to urge you to talk to the people who are standing up. If by the end of tomorrow you haven't spoken to several people of that generation, then you haven't made the most of your time here. They are the ones using this digital space. They're the ones who will use it in the future. They are able to help us identify the problems, and they probably have a lot of the answers too. So let's talk to them. And those of you standing up, please contribute and participate in this process. You can sit down, thank you. Okay, so the next question is, how will we organize the huge landscape that we're dealing with? So my suggestion is that we organize it around the three themes of the conference, which are these three themes here, and that as you bring your ideas, your suggestions, your thoughts, you can attach them to one of these themes. These themes are very clear in the program, which sessions are kind of relating to each theme. But we'll also have an other category, because there will be things that don't fit neatly into these categories, okay? With that, I want to say, the only bad question is a question that you don't ask, and the only bad idea is the idea that you don't put forward, okay? So please feel free. How are we going to do it? How am I going to get all those thoughts from your heads out, out of you? So there are a number of ways, and as I talk through this, I'll also do a bit of housekeeping along the way. So the first thing is Slido. Slido will be available in both this room, this is the main conference uh, session room, and the Andrea Belli room, which is uh, through the doors there. There will be two sliders running, one here, one there. If you don't know how to use Slido, Ask somebody from the Generation Z that Gen Zers will know. Ask them. They will help you to get Slido onto your phone and up and running. Okay? QR codes will be available and the code for the, for the chat will be available. You will be able to, during sessions, post questions through Slido and also make comments about what is standing out for you. What takeaways are you getting from this? What are your aha moments? Okay? So please use Slido. The second thing is to join in the session. I've talked a bit about that already, and I would like to encourage the chairs to please uh, get to that Q&A nice and quickly so that we can have a lot of discussion um, and involve as many people as possible. And to do that, chairs, feel free to quite strictly keep your speakers to time. Okay? You can alert them at 15 minutes, you can cut them off at 20. And speakers, you don't have to speak for 20 minutes, you can speak for three. That's also fine. Okay? So let's try and get to those Q&As so that we can get the conversation going. Then there are some other methods that we're going to use. One is I have put up a washing line over here where we can all hang our drying laundry, our cleaned laundry that we are washing through these sessions and hang it up there. 
There is paper and pens and pegs. Please, over the course of the next two days, go and peg up your idea. Just like with Slido, the washing line and suggestion boxes, which are on the bar area over beyond where the coffee is, just as you came in, you can put your ideas down anonymously. Okay, I'm not, We're not going to make a rule about this at all. I would prefer you to put your name on it. I might then be able to find you and talk to you further about it. But you are welcome to put things anonymously. Okay, that's fine. Um, we're going to have some manifesto sessions. As Alex says, I'm going to keep popping up. Uh, and, and trying to get some ideas out of you, come and speak to us. I'll tell you who the team is that you can speak to. Anybody. We are all the team. But if you want to put names to faces, you have Alex you can approach, me, of course. There's another Alex over there. I have Ian in the corner over there, with, there waving now. I have Mario somewhere. Ah, here's Mario here. And all the speakers I've asked to help with the process and a number of them have specifically said they really want to get involved. So people like Gary Plume wants to get involved, Noah wants to get involved, Sean wants to get involved, Claire Keeley wants to get involved. Please, approach them, share your ideas. Uh, I've talked about the suggestion boxes, and then let's... Ah, yes. The conch. OK. Just in case, just in case you don't naturally come forward with your ideas, we're going to have a conch system. So you may know in Lord of the Flies, everybody wanted to speak. Everybody had an opinion. And they introduced the system of a conch. And when you took the conch, it was your turn to speak, and no one else could interrupt you. So this is a bit of an adaptation of that. I'm going to hand conches out. And all I'm doing is asking you specifically to bring yourself to contribute the ideas and the thoughts in one way or another, in any of the ways. Let's be clear, it doesn't mean that if you don't have a conch, you don't contribute, okay? You all, please, welcome to contribute. But if you have a conch, please specifically contribute. And once you have contributed, you can hand the conch on to somebody else. And once you if you were given a conch by somebody, you know what to do. Please contribute. So let me just hand those out randomly. Now you can have them, Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take one to you. Yeah, you should never sit on the end of a row because it makes it very easy for me to get to you. And let's go here. OK? All right. So, when is this happening? So, another piece of housekeeping. Please keep your phones on. Keep them on, because we want you to log in to the Commonwealth Centre for Connected Learning, 3, digit 3, cl.org, where you'll find all the information about the programme, about the conference. You'll find all the information about what's happening when, so I'm not going to read through this slide. It's completely up to date. And you'll also find the information about speakers. OK? And with that, um, chairs, we highly recommend that there is no need to do lengthy introductions for your speakers, because all the information is available to people online. So get going to the juicy heart of the, of the uh, session. Uh, OK, here's your Sligo QR code. OK, this is for this room. There'll be a similar slide in the other room when sessions in the other room are taking place. Lovely. I'm loving all those cameras, all those phones coming out. Brilliant. Just out of interest, is there anybody in the room who doesn't have a mobile phone on them? Not a one. OK, good. So you're all able to participate. Twitter, if you're tweeting about us, great. This is the hashtag. OK, that's the hashtag. OK, okay. let's go.